Hi guys, it's Veronica. Again, I actually wanted to do a topic called Faithful Fridays. And what I wanted to share with you guys today is Christian women must haves. So I wanted to list some stuff that you must have. Of course, that way you can continue the, to follow Christ and to grow your walk with Christ. Most important thing after you come to Christ is a Bible. What I would recommend is an ESV Bible. That's an English Standard Bible because that is the easiest one to read. Also a study Bible. This is a study Bible. So I would recommend a study Bible for you guys. That way um, you guys can learn. And I mean, that can, that's a really good tool for your walk with Christ. Now, that is the first thing that you're going to need is a Bible. If you can't afford a study Bible because sometimes they could be a little bit pricey, what I would recommend is for you guys to go to a thrift store. Your local thrift store, Goodwill, any thrift store around your area usually carries Bibles. Now, sometimes they have brand new Bibles that you can actually purchase for about 4 or $5 if you can't afford a Bible. So I'm going to link things down below that way you guys can look at them and maybe um, look at the pricing of those bibles and see if you would like to purchase those if not like i said go to your local thrift store second for that bible study you're going to need highlighters now what i would get is a bible highlighter they're gel highlighters those are really good highlighters for your bibles that way they don't actually go through your pages okay now another thing i would recommend is a daily devotional i just purchased this one actually at the goodwill for two dollars and it's brand new no marks nothing on there so i would recommend like i said to um, actually go to the goodwill first if you're planning to not spend too much and then if you can't find it there then you can purchase it somewhere else maybe search it on amazon or in any other place that might be cheaper than your local store I also would recommend the Bible app. The Bible app is great. Um, we actually sometimes listen into it, to it in the car. We can listen to it while we're cleaning, while we don't have time to read, because sometimes I know we are very busy. At least you can get the word in by clicking play and it'll read it for you. Also, it does have devotionals there on the Bible app as well that I usually um, get. It depends on what you're going through if you're if you want a devotional for your marriage sorry the air just turned on and it's going to be a little loud because our air conditioning is loud here anyways um they have devotionals there as well that way you don't have to purchase it you can just actually get the bible app you can do it that way as well now another thing i would recommend is a book now when you are getting a book make sure that you research the person that is actually writing the book because if you don't, you might get stuck at a prosperity preacher's book. Okay, those are not actual preachers. They are motivational speakers. So make sure you search and make sure that they are aligning to the word of God, which is to the Bible. If they contradict the Bible, do not get those books. They're just going to lead you in a very different direction. What I've been reading is... I'll show you some of the books that I've been reading. I have read this book, which is the You and Me Forever by Francis Chan. He is a very good uh, pastor, and I really like this book. It's a really good one. I also read his book, um, Crazy Love, which is amazing. He is definitely very in love with the Lord, and this was a very good book. Now, I the first book that I actually got when I was brand new to the faith was The Power of a Praying Wife and The Power of a Praying Woman. Because I felt like I didn't know how to pray and I didn't want to do the same type of prayers that I did when I, I grew up Catholic. So it was just repetitive prayers. So I didn't know how to pray and this is a very good starter on how to pray. I am going to be doing my testimony after, not today, but uh, very soon in my husband as well, which this was one of my first praying books that I got when I was transformed. Very, very good book as well. And I'm also reading Charles 
version, The Power of Prayer. That is a very good book as well. He is a very good pastor. Another thing that I would recommend for you guys to get is a notepad to write down your praises and write down your prayers. Sometimes when you are praying, you can forget who you're praying for, the people you're praying for. If somebody told you, hey, can you please pray for me for such and such thing? Write it down that way when you are praying, when you're on your knees praying, you have this with you and you can go ahead and start praying for the people that you inform that you are gonna pray for. That way you don't forget. I got this one at um, Lifeway Christian Bookstore and it's really, really cute. I just recently purchased it. It has the praises, so the stuff that he already answered, you can write there or what you're grateful for, your confessions, your requests, and your answered prayers. So. Definitely has a lot of um, things here. This is a really, really cute one and it was only $12, but again, it doesn't have to be a very fancy one. It could just be a little notepad. I've seen some like this at Ross for like two, three dollars. So definitely you can search around for a good deal. I am going to, like I informed you earlier, I will link some stuff down below. That way you guys are aware and you guys can look through and see if anything that you would like to purchase that I have already. Now guys, that is it. That is all that I have so far. Of course, get yourself a space that you can be alone so you can get on your knees and pray to the Father as well. So that is another must have is a quiet space. We're using our closet. So whatever that is for you, definitely get yourself a quiet place. That way you can read your books, you can pray, and you can get closer to Christ. So that is it guys. That is all that I have. Again, if you guys have any suggestions down below, go ahead and leave a comment. If you are new, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you like um, family vlogs and I'm um, Christian, obviously Christian must have then that's going to be there, but in, we're going to be doing faithful Fridays now as well. So definitely if you guys like this type of content, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I think I said that like three times already, but Take care. See you guys on my Monday weekend vlog. Just kidding guys, I just thought about something. You know what it would be awesome, awesome, awesome? Is if you guys gave me ideas of what your must haves are, your Christian women must haves, what your routine is in the morning when you get up and pray, um, the things that you would like to do to get closer to God, to feel His presence. That would be awesome if you guys can leave me a comment on that. That way other believers and other people can see. And who knows? I mean, that might help their walk with Christ. So definitely, if you guys can think of anything that I missed that is something that you guys would say that you must-haves are, definitely please leave me a comment. Let other people know. That way they can take that as well. And you know let's support each other let's help each other out if we're missing something and you want to say it go ahead and leave a comment that way we can go ahead and know what it is that you guys do for a routine and that's it guys i just wanted to um throw that out there all right see ya okay no not see ya